It's the Nicole and Tanya Show! Hey, it's Nicole! What's up, everybody? It's Tanya. You're, You're watching, watching the, the Nicole, Nicole and Tanya, Tanya Show. It is our favorite time of year. Not only is it colder and we're not sweating like crazy people, it is also fall premiere season, which means we get to watch a ton of TV. But because there's so many things to watch, we decided to narrow it down to our favorite Netflix shows. Netflix with us. The themes of this episode are just out of control. Some of my favorite things, fall and television, or in my case, Netflix. Yes! So many awesome things coming to Netflix right now. By the time you're watching this episode, Luke Cage. All episodes of Luke Cage will be streaming. That's right. If you're a fan of Daredevil, Jessica Jones, you are going to love this. I'm going to love this. I'm a huge fan of Daredevil and Jessica Jones. I love what Marvel does on Netflix. I really am interested, and I really don't know too much about what is actually going to be taking place during Luke Cage, but I am excited to see how they weave in the other characters. Um, I don't know if there's any plans to have Jessica Jones, Frank Castle, Daredevil interwoven into this this season and the series, but I'm looking forward to see if or how they do it. And I, I have a feeling I'm like 99.9% .9 sure they are going to weave in Rosario Dawson's character. So looking forward to that. Love Rosario Dawson. Next thing super excited about another Netflix original series is Haters Back Off. If you guys are a fan of Miranda Sings on YouTube, um, I don't know if any of you guys are. I'm not the hugest fan of Miranda Sings, but I am a huge fan of Colleen Bollinger, the creator of Miranda Sings. I think she's so talented and so cute and so funny, and I'm really looking forward to supporting what she's doing on Netflix. So basically, her character Miranda Sings now has a show called Haters Back Off. Really looking forward to seeing what that's like and really just supporting another YouTuber and actress and an amazing, hardworking person. Really looking forward to that. This is not a Netflix original show, but season two of I Zombie is coming to Netflix this month. I feel like I've waited practically a year from when season one of I Zombie was put on Netflix to now. I've been craving, I've been dying for season two. And it's finally, finally almost here. Really looking forward to it. I kind of just want to be Liv, except I really don't want to be eating brains. But I feel like we kind of look like, right? We have the crooked teeth. All I have to do is cut and dye my hair. We could be twins. Maybe, maybe I could be here for Halloween. Who knows? Let me know what you think. All right, I'm also excited for a Netflix original movie that's coming very soon. It's called Mascots. It's by Christopher Guest. If you're a huge fan of his, his mockumentary kind of shows, um, he did For Your Consideration, Best in Show, Spinal Tap. If you like that sort of thing, you're going to love this. Really, really looking forward to seeing it. I'm a huge Jane Lynch fan as well. Okay, last but not least, this is another movie coming to Netflix this month. Not an original movie, but a classic. An oldie but a goodie, if you will. Ferris Bueller's Day Off kind of reminds me of like an older version of, or an adult version of Home Alone, which is one of my favorite movies. This is the perfect season for Home Alone, so why not make it the perfect season for Ferris Bueller's Day Off? And it could be a cool date night movie. We'll see. And yet again, Nicole and I are thinking the exact same thing without telling each other, without planning. I was also going to say Luke Cage, so I'm going to have to think of something else now. Luckily, I like a lot of Netflix shows. All right, so my pick for upcoming shows is The Crown on Netflix. This 10 part series is telling the early years of Queen Elizabeth II's reign. Why am I excited about this? Well, I am an extreme history buff, so I love anything to do with history and I especially love historical fiction. It is rumored that the series is actually the most expensive Netflix series and it's not hard to see why when you look at the trailer. It's hard to do a period piece on a budget. It's especially hard to do one that's really well done, and that's what this looks like it is. This has some really great talent that you're going to recognize. I am very excited to see what Netflix does with this. And of course, there is way more content on Netflix that we're really excited to watch, but we thought it might be nice to check in with some of our friends to see what they want to see. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Nicole. Oh my God. You know, you know. You know I'm excited. Well, Netflix is coming out with all these new shows in October. It's wicked. Oh my god. You know how much I love comedy. I'm excited that How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days is gonna be on Netflix. Cause there's, okay, there's no way I would go seeking that movie. But, you know, if it's just there, yeah, I'll watch it. Like, McConaughey's 
You, he's pretty hot. So I'd watch that. So I'm looking forward to that. Trailer Park Boys. Of course, because like I'm Canadian and they're Canadian. Wow, like bubbles in Germany. Of course I want to see that. That's funny. I want to laugh. That's what I'm here to do. I want to laugh. I want to project air out of my lungs and say, ha! Repeatedly. This one, Emil. Joe Rogan Triggered, it's called, I think. Okay, so Joe Rogan is coming out with a special called Triggered, and I want to watch that because, you know, his subject matter is, you know, is always the subject of controversy, and, you know, and, you know, I'm into it. Though. This one is really exciting because this is. Okay, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This one's got me all heated because it's so exciting, especially being on YouTube. Miranda Sings is coming out with a show and it's debuting on the 14th of October. I cannot. What I can't do right now is even. Miranda Sings? I have been waiting to see the show because sometimes I watch Colleen Ballinger's uh, vlogs and I see her working on the show. And it's the first YouTuber to have a Netflix show, so it's just, it's revolutionary. It's just, Hot, it's hot. I am so down for some Miranda's egg. Like, those are my picks. Those are the ones that I'm going to watch. If you're not Netflixing and chilling, what do you do for fun? Hey, I'm Jeff. I'm actually really looking forward to The Crown as well. Uh, 1947 post war royalty on and royalty baby boom action. Like Game of Thrones with fewer CG dragons. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome, seriously. I'm most excited for Gilmore Girls. I love the show and I've heard for so long that they're coming out with the follow-up. I know they were saving it probably for the fall because it's kind of a fall show. Well, it's fall already. And I'm not just saying this. So I'm drunk. Uh, hey, hello. Hello, viewers of the uh, Nicole and Tanya show, who I don't personally know, but I'm sure are very nice. So, Tanya, you asked me to actually get on camera and talk about some of the shows that are coming to Netflix, which I have absolutely no idea of. I'm completely oblivious to what is currently on Netflix and know next to nothing about what is coming soon to Netflix. So, you couldn't have asked me to talk about uh, any you know worse topics. So, I'm going to enlighten myself, actually. And so, I'm actually going to check what's coming up on uh, Netflix for series this October, this current month that we're in, you know, because I'm aware of the date and all. Apparently there's this show that a lot of people seem to like called Black Mirror. It's apparently a very popular show. I have heard it uttered a couple of times in some circles before. Television anthology series that shows the dark side of life and technology. I'm glad I finally pressed play on this. I don't know what the hell I just watched. I tried to watch the trailer for it, which didn't give me an idea of any cohesive story going on, but it seems visually intense. It seems like uh, some pretty dark, storytelling going on, which I'm a big fan of. Although it's gonna make me feel guilty about spending so much time in front of the screen while watching a show that's going to shake a finger at me and say, you know how bad you are for being in front of a screen. Boy, it is actually kind of hard just to search for what are new series coming to Netflix this fall? Well, let's talk about the elephant in the room, Luke Cage. Everybody freaking loves Luke Cage. It's come out, and like most Marvel shows and movies that come out, I will be the last to press play on it. Not because I'm trying to hold off on it, just because I can't seem to find the time to press play on it, because as soon as I do, uh, I will binge watch that like a son of a gun and coming off of the heels of Daredevil uh, and that other one which I'm completely blanking on now but was full of awesome as well. Jessica Jones! God, how could I forget the name Jessica Jones? Full of awesome. Scream Queens! Okay, I'm thrilled because I actually heard of this show and I'm interested in it from the get-go. This one seems awesome. Why? Three words. Jamie Lee Curtis. Full of awesome. It's gonna be like a black comedy with horror genre elements to it about a serial killer uh, that goes nuts on a university, has something to do with Falls, uh, you know, sorority. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, I think, plays the dean. Um, and, you know, somewhere in there, a killer goes nuts. You had me at hello. Finally, Supergirl. Supergirl is finally coming to Netflix. I have not watched any of Supergirl yet, and I've been sitting back and getting all mopey because the entire world has been watching Supergirl and loving it, 
and I have been patiently waiting for an opportunity for me to watch it. I watched the pilot episode and it was of a yeah, rocky start. I know that it's continuing into a season two. I know that they're bringing Superman into it. So it's, it's I don't know, I, I know where it's going. I know where season two is gonna go. So thankfully now I can actually watch it and get caught up and see this awesomeness. So there you go. Those are the shows I'm looking forward to seeing on Netflix this fall. Uh, if there are any that I haven't heard of, I probably still won't for another year, but there we go. Them's my picks and I'm sticking to them. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you let us know in the comments what fall premieres you're excited about. We would love to know. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at Nicole Tanya Show, S H O, on Facebook, The Nicole and Tanya Show, on YouTube, The Nicole and Tanya Show. Make sure you subscribe, it helps us. Have a good week. We'll see you later. That's it for this week. Next week, it's Columbus Day in the States, it's Thanksgiving in Canada. It's the battle of the holidays you've all been waiting for. Tune in to see who wins! Spoiler alert, it's Canada. Just like the War of 1812.